Hey guys, welcome. I've just finished another great trading session with binary options on Pocket Option. If you want to find out where I got with just $100 to what results, what I use, what strategies, watch this video till the end. You'll find out. I'm starting straight away. My name's Oliver. Let's go. Right, I'm going to make a first option. $100, one minute time. And let's make a... Let's see... I'm going to go ahead with the trend here. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and make a. OK, so there is a resistance there. I'm going to go ahead with that. So basically, we have a downtrend globally and then the change of the direction, the change of the situation there and the trend looks like there is a an upper trend forming but it will um, meet some resistance on a way basically and even if if this is only a pullback we're gonna profit from this and yeah generally i'm working off the resistance level here and in hope of the of the time frame being correct for this pullback because after that, I believe the the price is going to go back up after this pullback. We'll see that in a few seconds. Only 10 seconds left. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we're correct here with this pullback. Looking good, looking good because it starts to go back up. 192. Let's move on. Let's go to the next currency. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Different one. Do, 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 do. I keep looking for this nice situation for us. Maybe here. Maybe this one here. We have. How is that looking? Check other one. This one here maybe. Let's we'll go back to this one again. It's coming up. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead with this option here. Um, it's, I think what we see here is basically we do, we might have um, the resisting zone here, but basically, let's just check out the front. Yeah. As you can see, the MACD is actually looking pretty good for the short. And we're breaking through the top line. And yeah, it's, it's, going, uh, it's going pretty good for in terms of the... Mm, yeah, maybe the settings are not the best on Keltner at this, on this view, but... Yeah, we got our profit. So the next one is going to be 360. Let's just change the currency. Let's change this bit. Right. What's happening over here? We're meeting some resistance and it looks like we're dropping uh, at least for a pullback, but there is definitely resistance at, in this zone. So yeah, let's we'll work off of the of that, and also the MECD is showing a slight decrease there, and yeah, if it does, if it does cross with the slower line, that's a good sign for the short. So this is what we are expecting at this point. I think it does. I think it's about to cross it. Plus, we're breaking through 
the the top uh, line of the Keltner again it happened then the middle supported us we went up and now it's happening again so there is a seller situation and I think it might it might even go through the middle this time but we profited from this already so what happens next is is another thing so we're gonna keep going we're gonna move on with the next um, with the next option let's go 699 we got and let's go for let's go for it let's go for the next currency by the way guys don't forget to like subscribe and comment while I'm at it um, and there's also a link to a telegram group where you can learn a lot about trading so don't hesitate to use in the description I'll leave a invitation link right let's let's see what's happening here I see this accumulation we're likely to go up from this floor we're in the zone where the 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 asset is um, devalued and um, basically oversold so we're likely to go up from there MACD is also showing us that the price would start rising up so let's trust those and go with it and we'll wait for this to finish and continue but basically it looks like these this accumulation below the levels at, at this point this is a the, the lower line of the Kelvin channel is the floor it's the level and is a resisting one so when we accumulate below it and get the power people and basically this is a zone where and the price and the zone where the asset is over oversold um, and then the price is basically is pretty low right so it's the minimums and we are almost there and of course the people start buying when the price is low that's as simple as that we just got ourselves a nice profit i'm gonna go ahead with 1k and create another uh, we if it's even going through the middle line so it's a pretty good situation right so what's happening here this is a pretty strong downtrend still i think um, everything's showing for the downtrend I'm, I'm just gonna go with it this time um, I don't think we're going for a for a correction just yet um, so yeah everything's showing that the price is lowering so that's that's what we're gonna do and yeah let's wait for the result Okay, we just got ourselves a profit from this and it looks exactly like you, you could uh, potentially profit here uh, by by going with a with a call option but yeah we're just gonna move on uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's go with the call option here because it's still rising there's no resistance I think just yet for us so yeah 2k for this one um, I think this is going to right I think it's still growing so it's a, it's a nice bullish trend here formed and obviously it's so now the top line of the Keltner channel is, is actually supporting us a little bit in this at this point but yeah it will meet the resistance definitely will and of course the price will bounce down for the correction or whatever but yeah right now we are we are 
Ooh, there we are, there we are. One of those, and one more, nice. We got ourselves both of the options. Guys, I'm gonna stop here, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you all next time, goodbye.